Hey guys, I wanted to talk about something that's really difficult to find information on and all this stuff and basically uh, let's talk about PCIe lanes. I know you're saying, okay, this is really easy. Oh, I just plug stuff in and everything. And you're thinking, you know, yeah, I just plugged this under here and it's got this thing out. No, no, it, I've been on the forums. I've looked out there and it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous how much disinformation or confusing information or all this other stuff that's out there. Okay, so I'm an architect. I've done some research. I want to make this easier and kind of distill this out. You know, I looked at all the product lines and everything that's out there and people say that it's, you know, this and that, the numbers go this way and they throw all this stuff out there. And frankly, you know, the old adage goes that uh, basically a smart person tries to make things sound simple and a, and a simpleton makes things sound complicated. But we're going to take this apart one piece at a time. Now, PCIe lanes. Okay, so PCIe lanes are really, really, really simple, even though it sounds like they're simple and they're difficult to understand because I think basically they throw all these numbers at you and when they're marketed, they tell you one thing and then they talk about, well, this one's 16X and this, and it gets confusing between where well, they talking about the size and we all know size matters. Uh, that basically the size and what it'll fit in there versus the width of the link and all this other stuff. Look, this thing's really simple. And you know, when you start plugging things into your computer, it makes you just want to throw your hands up. I am sick and tired of these mother <laughs> peripherals on a lane. Okay, so besides that guy, let's talk about this. Let me grab my awesome gigabyte motherboard. Okay, slots on this thing. All right, so PCIe lanes are really quite simple. And the thing that makes this really, really difficult to understand is that there is a correspondence between what is actually on the board with the actual slots that you see and the actual like link lanes and what they're talking about and where they go. Okay, so I wanna explain this really, really quite simply because frankly, when you see a lot of the discussions around, okay, in this particular case, this is a 170, and then the 270 came out for KB Lake. You know, this one's got 20, and this one's got 24. Like, okay, look, let's explain this simply. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this apart here. This is a Skylake CPU. Okay, so these are pretty much the same as what you would find in, say, KB Lake, okay? Regardless of whether it's i3, i5, or i7, uh, we can talk in some of the larger ones and not to confuse with uh, say Broadwell E or any extreme editions, but sticking with Cavi Lake and with the uh, Skylake's processors, here's the real simple truth behind this. They have 16 lanes. That's it, 16. We're not talking 20, we're not talking 24. So where do these numbers come from and what does this all mean? Why is it when I plug something into my system that things get disabled or it gets really hard to figure out how many lanes I'm using or what is all this, oh my God, I don't know what's going on. Well, it's really simple. 16 lanes, 16 come from the CPU. That's it, okay? So 16, what is the 16 used for? I'll show you again on the motherboard, 16, 16 are these big lanes right here. What you see here, this particular one and this particular one, we're talking CPU bound, graphics based, well, for a graphics card, and that's pretty much what you're looking at. Okay, 16 lanes go directly to the GPU or to the graphic card that you plug into these lanes. Now, here's the thing that's important. They talk about the 8X for SLI and the triple uh, crossfire, blah, blah, blah. It's really simple. These lanes all share the same bandwidth. That's it. They go 16 lanes directly to the CPU. You can count that as one if you want because that's all you're gonna get. Two, SLI doesn't give you more lanes. They have these uh, multiplexer, PLX chips, all these things. Again, doesn't give you any more lanes. It's just marketing. You get 16, that's it. You, when you share them across, we're again, not talking about Extreme Edition X99 or 299. We're talking straight just 170s and 270s, and frankly, some of the older ones as well, but 16 lanes here. So what about this 20? What about the 20, uh, 20 and 24? Really quite simple. I'm gonna explain it with this nice little visual. And, uh, you know, 
not, I'm not the uh, not the red-haired comic, you know, kind of propping, but let's go ahead and take a look at these with this visual. Here's how this works. I'm going to demonstrate uh, like how, where the 20 and where the 24 come from from our magical DMI bus right here. Here's how it works. Here's your CPU. Here are your 20 or 24 lanes. Notice how that fits. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Just like this. The 24 and the 20 lanes go through this beautiful funnel right here. This is called DMI, so it's really simple. The CPU lanes that you get for your GPU, basically those 16 lanes, that gives you, that, that is not the funnel. That comes from this beauty here. And essentially what you're seeing is that's gonna go directly to graphics and then everything else. And I do mean everything else. We're talking the 1X PCIe lanes, the USB ports, the sound card, your SSD, your NVMe, everything, all of that goes through the funnel. All right, through DMI. And you know what, they say that this only gives you about four, uh, four lanes worth of bandwidth. That's where you get this. This is coming from the, the board's chipset. And so basically, where all those lanes come from are coming through this funnel. So what does that mean? If I have, say, two NVMe, I've got a sound card, I've got all this other stuff, does this affect my graphic card? No, again, CPU gives you 16, graphic card goes through here, everything else goes through the funnel. What does that mean if I try to run every single thing? Well, I got my two NVMe drives running at 4X. Well, actually they're running at 4X through the funnel. One is gonna take the bandwidth of the other. The chipset is taking care of how much stuff goes through that funnel, but it still goes through the little hole in here. So it's trying to squish a lot of sausage through a meat squisher, and essentially what comes through there is basically the same stuff coming through the hole here. You're gonna still get one sausage. So. That's pretty much it. I know this is really simplistic and silly, but this is exactly what's going on. And when you say, okay, well, that doesn't make sense. Like, well, they say there's 20 lanes and this and that should be 20 lanes. It's all coming through the funnel. Frankly, this is exactly how, say, Wi-Fi or anything else works. We see funnels all the time. Everything that tries to share some bandwidth and kind of put things through this, this is exactly how this works. So it works beautifully. That's why in the most cases, you're not gonna see things step on each other. But again, Simplistically speaking, all your 1X PCIe lanes, all your peripherals, everything else, this is how it works, all right? I'm not gonna go into any more detail here because it would just be kind of silly and uh, I can make some other silly videos later about talking about some of the details on that, like how this stuff works, but essentially, remember, it's a funnel. All right, so catch you in the next one. Till then, folks, till then. One more time.